Hey everyone, it's Jay here. Um, I'm just at my buddy's house today uh, checking out his VR system and uh, asked him if I can come by and use it to maybe give a, a bit of a perspective video on what it's uh, like to have Tourette's and how it feels to take or kind of what we're seeing when we do take. It's not really 100% accurate because this won't capture the way my eyes roll with, with the tick, but it's, uh, you know, hopefully it'll be close enough and give uh, anyone watching who doesn't actually have ticks, you know, a bit of perspective on it. So I'm just going to get started with this, this plain sim and figure like, might as well have some fun with it as well at the same time. Unfortunately, I had audio problems. So I decided to do a voiceover as I'm unlikely to get the opportunity to re-record this for a while. Um, this video was actually originally recorded before the pandemic um, and I did always intend to re-record it, but unfortunately just doesn't look um, possible. So now that that's out of the way, um, what I did, uh, another thing I want to mention here was that the ticks you're seeing um, are probably a little bit worse than normal and I think that was due to the sensory sensitivities from having the pressure on my head with this headset. I didn't expect it to cause um, such an aggravation of my ticks, but as you'll see as we go further and further it did tend to um, bother me more and more and did tend to aggravate it. I am really impressed with this headset. I thought it would slide around my head a lot more than it did and it is surprisingly secure uh, it's an HTC Vive Pro for anyone that's interested so you know if you have Tourette syndrome and you're worried about um, being able to use a headset this one is uh, pretty good fits pretty well and is uh, fairly secure so I'll put a link to it in the comments uh, below so if you are interested in it you you know the product you know where to get it I was also impressed with the way it um, captured the ticks. It was taken fairly realistically, like it is in real time. Um, the one thing I will point out is this doesn't really give the true scale of what the ticks actually are. And the reason for that is because um, it doesn't catch my eye, my eye rolls. So when I tick my, um, eyes roll quite a bit as well um and unfortunately this just doesn't capture that but it does do a pretty good job um with the head movements um, another thing i noticed was even though i had this headset on and it was aggravating my physical ticks it was also severely um aggravating my vocal tics as well as you'll find in the end of the video that I was actually able to save the audio on. Um, so when that comes around you'll you'll hear that my vocal tics are I believe worse than they were uh, at the beginning of the video. I would like to know what you uh, what you all thought of uh, the video as a perspective video. Uh, did it help you gain insight? I hope it did, as my intent with this one was to bring more awareness to what people with Tourette's face every day, as well as offer a unique look through my eyes of what ticks can actually be like. And I haven't seen a video like this before, so I'm really happy that I was able to get this done and uh, get it recorded and be able to post it on YouTube so all of you can see it. Also make sure to let me know in the comments if you want to see a specific uh, type of video or specific content, something you'd like to see me do or something you'd like to see me cover. I would also like to hear from anyone who has uh, Tourette's themselves just as to what they thought of this video and uh, how my experience uh, with Tourette's matches up to their unique experience. Um, I do hope that this video gets shared with uh, anyone who knows or lives with someone with Tourette's as I think it may be a bit of an eye-opener for the things your friends, colleagues, acquaintances, or uh, loved ones go through. I'm thinking about doing another video uh, fairly soon um, of how much worse my vocal tics can get when I do tasks that make it harder for me to suppress them for any length of time as uh, 
uh, something I'm known for is suppressing uh, my tics. Unfortunately, because I do advocate that you should never have to, but it's it's tough in this world we live in today, and I do understand that. But all we could do is try to educate others on Tourette syndrome and to continue to enlighten people and break down the stigma surrounding this condition so that, you know, in time, it's more normalized and we don't walk down the road and have people stare at us or, you know, have people snicker at us on the bus or in a restaurant. And uh, my hope is that, you know, as the years go on and time goes on that we'll be able to educate the masses in numbers unheard of before. And I have a lot of hope for that because when I look on YouTube now, there's a lot of people with Tourette's who have started channels in the last few years and they're just doing so much good to bring awareness. I have nothing but the utmost respect for anyone courageous enough to come onto such a public forum and open themselves up in the way that they do. And I think this is a perfect time to move back to the original audio recording. Yeah, so I hope uh, I hope this gave you a little bit of perspective kind of as to uh, yeah, what, what we uh, do see when we, when, of what we actually see when we tick. And so I hope it's been, you know, informative um, to you and, uh, you know, if you like it, just, uh, you know, please share it with other people who you, who may find it to be of interest and anyone who can benefit from it. Cause, um, I'm not sure how often people actually, you know, get a bit of perspective into, into, into ticks and what they actually feel like. So, you know, um, and, uh, I hope you liked it. And if you do like it, just please like, and subscribe and, uh, when I post new content, you'll you'll get the notification. So, have a good one, guys. Take care.